Hey y'all, Ayla here. Welcome back to my channel. So, there's a little story behind how I got this. First of all, Evergreen Art Dolls, she made a video where she kind of uh, showed us new things that she was finding in Walmart. New dolls and, and other sets and things. Really cool stuff. It's a great video. I will link that video down below. One of the things in the video was this. It was $25, so she didn't buy it. And, you know, <laughs> I don't blame her. It's really awesome looking, though. Fingers crossed it is as good as it looks. It looks like it's got um, some mystery surprise things in it and all. But anywho, shortly after she posted this video and we all watched it, I hope you watched it. If not, like I said, I will have it linked below. Um, Irene, over at Irene Hughes Doll Space. Irene Hughes, I do that every time. Irene Huffs. Irene Huffs. I don't know why I'm determined to call her Hugh. Irene Huff's Doll Space. I will link her channel down below as well. She's, we're all in a chat together, chat room together, and she mentioned, in fact, actually linked this on Amazon. Boy, it was $10, $10.99. It was less than $11, way less than $25 that Target wanted for it. Oh, Walmart wanted for it. You know, I don't know if it was Walmart or Target now. God bless America. Watch um, her video. Oh, God, I'm a mess. You all know that. But anywho, I took advantage of it. So uh, did Evergreen Art Dolls. She also got it. So I'm sure there will be a video. I'm sure hers will be much more professional than mine. So definitely go and watch hers when it's posted. I don't know when she's going to do hers. Um, I ordered this yesterday and it came today. It was waiting for me. I left the house to go to work, to come to work. So, let's get the plastic off. And, yes, and I will say I was a little disappointed in Amazon because this is how they delivered it. You know, that, that pad, my address was on the back, on the plastic. They just, you know, so thank goodness this wasn't a gift that I had for a little girl or, or boy or, you know, for anybody and that they opened the door and saw it. Um, this is the back. If you don't know what this is, this is from the movie Wish. It's a Disney movie. It's fairly new. Um, it's on Disney uh, Plus. It's not bad. I enjoyed the movie. The music, the music doesn't quite get that. There's one song and I'm like, oh, this is, yeah, well. <laughs> it was like a really good one. I'm like, yeah, I can see this one you know, kind of becoming a hit too. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, not, not you know, uh, we don't talk about Bruno level, but you know, that, that song was extraordinary from Kanto. But it was still a good song, and then it just kind of, I don't know, something happened and it veered. And so the music's not the best. But the story is wonderful. I really enjoyed that. And so this is the main character whose name I can't remember because I've only watched the movie once. But it does come with this doll, which I'm going to try and get out of here. Without tearing the packaging too much because I really want this packaging. Uh, okay, so we don't have any tape. That's nice. So here's the doll. I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't get this for the doll. I got this for the eight other things. Uh, she does have some little Kimball tags in here holding her in, but not too many. I, I'm kind of impressed, and actually, I'm, I'm not too. I kind of like this dress, too. It is just a print, but it could be worse. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take the doll out, probably. I don't know, like I said, I didn't get it for the doll. The doll I'm probably going to give to somebody, my niece or something. It's these eight, it's these eight surprises here. So let's get started. Oh, I hate to do because I really love all these pictures. They're so adorable. But, uh, okay. So here we have the wishing star. Very cute. Let's set that there. And then there is no number, so you can go whatever order you want. Okay, yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to take the doll out because this she can hold this little bird. Look at this! Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, it just tore. They give you a place to put your finger to get it out, but it doesn't want to come out. Let's try that. There we go. Oh, adorable. And 
my favorite pink head tail. I don't know. I like bunny tails to be white. And get a little pink in those ears. I can't remember what they look like in the movie. I'm probably gonna have to watch the movie again after I do this. I probably should have watched it before. I haven't seen it since it first came out. We get a turtle. Very nice. Very, very nice actually. Big cute little face. Okay, who's in this slot? It's a U. This part doesn't bend, unfortunately. Yeah. But still, this is a very usable basket. I'll definitely paint. When I say paint, with me, it'll be marker. Um, as I've said before, I shake too much with some meds that I take for my asthma. So I can't do fine painting, but I can do marker. So, yeah, I will take some Sharpie marker or maybe some Illustrator. Markers I got five below. And paint that little friend. I'm gonna save this big one for last. My gamer, yes, I am. I found one of this turtle. He's so cute. I want to keep it. And I guess I could just open this and not. Burn. There we go. We have a chippy monk. Oh, I hope we have squirrels. I love squirrelers. But I love chippy monks. My husband's been doing some training, um, computer, well, not computer, but on the computer, but he's been at home doing training for his new job, and he's been sitting outside to do it, because it's just nice, and he said the chipmunks have been out in the patio playing, <laughs> not even caring that he was out there with them. Oh, oh my gosh, things are really in here. Oh my gosh. Well, I just sent a flying. Okay. Oh, that was a workout. It looks like we have another bunny. So it might be exactly the same, just brown. Yeah, they, they need they need a little extra work. But, I mean, if you didn't do anything, they're still absolutely adorable. So we did that. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the last one. Use this big one. Oh, we got Bambi. Okay, it's not really Bambi. Um, different story. But, oh, look at that cute face. Do you have a Lips should be turned up a little bit so he's smiling. I might have to do that. <laughs> very soft. <laughs> very smooth. My OCD likes how smooth this is. But oh, very light. It must be hollow. But yeah, I mean, this is not badly made at all. Like the little dots that are painted on it. Oh, so cute. I'm going to do a plug for an Instagram and a YouTube channel called Fuzzy Fawn Wildlife. She is a fawn um, rescue in New York State. She is amazing. She saves so many deer every year. Little baby deer. She's got, I think, seven newborn. Like, she gets them in an hour or so after they're born sometimes. But, yeah, so Fuzzy Fawn Wildlife. I'll link her YouTube channel down below, but she also has Instagram. She mostly uses Instagram. But so, anywho, here we go. Let me get this down a little bit. And we're going to stick the star in the basket. And I guess, let me pause and get the doll out. Okay, she wasn't hard to get out at all. There were just a few little tags. Um, Y'all know me. I love to make books out of stuff. So you know... I will be making books out of this. That is so cool, which is what I'll be doing with a lot of this packaging, too. Whoops. Sorry, Bambi. Yeah, it's a deer. I name them all Bambi. But this will be cool cover for books, too. So, yay. But now, let's look at the doll. She comes with... Oh, is that separate? Oh, it's not. That stinks. 
It's weird. It's only on one foot. I'm going to have to watch the movie and see what's it only on one foot. I'm probably going to cut this off to make that an anklet that I can use with other dolls. But it is actually attached to this one shoe. They're just little slip-ons. They do have them done with the little bands. And again, her dress is just... Oh, it is actually hewn. Wow. Look at that. I'm impressed. Because with this fabric, they usually aren't. It's even hemmed at the wrist and at the neck. Hmm. Very nice. Oh, I didn't take this off of her <laughs> Okay, there are a few more tags than I thought. I'll be right back. Okay, that was a bit excessive. There were three. There, there was no need for three. But she has, um, are they braided or are they just, no, I think they might, yeah, they're actually braided. A bunch of little bitty braids. And a wonky one. <laughs> um, this part of here is just plastic. It's part of her, her scalp. Um, but then they go into actual, yeah, it's very really soft too. No product in it. I like that. And I like her face. She's very pretty. So, let's see about this. Oh, yeah, what kind of articulation? Oh, she doesn't. Oh, gosh, yeah, no. She doesn't have any, no no legs. I mean, she, she can sit and that's it. No bendy legs, no bendy arms. Yeah, I'm definitely giving this doll away. <laughs> um, so, I guess this may be just... Goes on her wrist like that. Hello, tweet tweet. Yeah, <laughs> we'll just uh, set her back over there. I may take her head and put her on something unarticulated body because I really do like her face. But this was the main thing. This was the main reason I wanted was the animals because I love the animals. Oh, they're so cute. Do wish there have been some squirrelers, but you know, you can't have everything. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and definitely check out the other channels that I mentioned. Evergreen Art Dolls, Irene Huff's Doll Space. Got you right that time. And don't forget Fuzzy Fawn Wildlife. She's a hero.